Okay, good morning. We are going grocery shopping today and I'm going to go to two different stores, Trader Joe's and then I lost my voice over the weekend. It was the 4th of July weekend. That's my birthday. I went really hard and I lost my voice, so sorry. But I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and then to a store um, called Lazy Acres. It's like a Whole Foods. It's like a health food store. So my goal is to keep it all under $100 because you don't have to spend a ton of money to eat pro-metabolic and to like take care of your body. You know what I mean? So I'm going to prove that today. <laughs> and I'm completely out of food because we've been in, we were in Cabo for my birthday and the 4th of July for uh, five days. And so I'm completely out of food. So this is like a full restock. I want to show you guys how I plan my meals before I go grocery shopping because that makes it a thousand times easier. So I use this app called Clear. It You could basically just use your notes app for this, but I just use this because it has pretty colors. And so what I do is I have an entire list of different meal items that I like and I pick three for the week. So the three that I picked this week, I'm doing shrimp tacos, pasta salad with some chicken in it, and then a chuck roast shredded beef tacos. It is just simply taco week. Um, but these are all really easy meals that I can make ahead of time so I don't have to worry about, you know, cooking every day. And that's what I wanted this week, especially from coming back from our trip. So once I have my three meals picked out, then I go to my other list of my groceries. So I have my grocery list here. This is all the things that I need for um, those three meals and then some like my typical items like milk and you know cheese, butter, uh, orange juice, things like that. Um, so whatever I need I put onto this list and then this is typically my Trader Joe's list and then I have one for those like specialty items like raw milk I can't find at Trader Joe's they don't have it so I usually go to Lazy Acres for raw milk and a few other like little specialty items and so that should all be under $100 I really hope it is so we're gonna go grocery shopping today Okay, just got out of Trader Joe's and the total comes to $74.63. And that is including a bouquet of flowers. So I have like 25 bucks to spend at Lazy Acres and I only have like three or four things I need to get there, raw milk being one of them. And so let's see if I can keep it. 25 bucks or less. Okay, I just left Lazy Acres and the total came to 2634. I'm quite proud of myself and yeah, I was over $100 by like a dollar or two but if I didn't get the bouquet of flowers I'm under $100 so food wise that was under $100 so I'm pretty proud of myself the only things I got at Lazy Acres were a rotisserie chicken and um, raw milk and the rotisserie chicken was 15 and the raw milk was 10 and yeah that's about it so I'm going to use a rotisserie chicken for um, the pasta salad, like shred it up. And the beauty of rotisserie chickens, and they're organic at Lazy Acres, that's why I like them, they will last so long. So I'll shred it up and put it in the pasta salad. I'm just going to make a massive batch of pasta salad and it'll last for a long time. So let's go unload. We did it. We have groceries. Okay, the two things from Lazy Acres, or like my health food store, was literally just raw milk, I already dipped into it, 
and um, this organic rotisserie chicken. This is totally a splurge, like it's 15 freaking dollars. It's unnecessary, but I just really wanted an easy, I wanted easy, easy, easy meals this week and to shred up a delicious rotisserie chicken into a massive bowl of pasta salad to have for lunch for literally a week sounded really good and easy. So, I splurged and I got it. Okay, the rest is from Trader Joe's. So in the pasta salad, I'm gonna do some bell peppers, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Pretty simple. I follow the clean 15 dirty dozen list, especially if you're on a budget or trying to stay under like a certain amount. Um, basically what that means is you can just Google clean 15 dirty dozen. It's new every single year. And what it essentially is, is clean 15 are the 15 fruits and vegetables that you can afford to buy non-organic. They're the least sprayed with pesticides. And the dirty dozen are 12 fruits and vegetables that you should splurge and buy organic uh, because they're the most heavily sprayed with pesticides and chemicals. So easy way to remember it so you don't have to look it up all the time is if you're eating the skin, buy it organic. So I bought all these three things, organic tomatoes, organic bell peppers, and organic cucumbers because you eat the skin. So therefore, you're probably consuming more pesticides if it's not organic. For things like oranges or watermelon or even avocados that have a thicker skin that you're not eating, those are typically on the um, Clean 15 list because they have such a thick like rind that you won't be exposed to hopefully not as many pesticides if buying non-organic. I got my eggs from Trader Joe's. They, these are actually new. Organic pasture raised uh, large brown eggs. So I haven't tried these before but they look good so eggs. Now I'm gonna make a mango salsa to go over the shrimp tacos. So I went one of two ways. I could either have bought um, fresh mangoes, but I think cutting mangoes are like so difficult. And it was more expensive to buy like two or three mangoes compared to buying fresh cut mangoes already cut up by Trader Joe's. And then I just got a bunch of fruit. I got a watermelon, I got a bag of organic peaches, like four or five of them, and then four um, organic nectarines. I already have some organic zucchini and I bought a, just one, organic squash. I got a few lemons and limes. I buy these non-organic because they have a thick rind. I also have a lemon tree. I don't have a lemon tree. My neighbor has a lemon tree, but a lot of times lemons fall on our side, so yeah. I needed more pasta, so I got some organic penne pasta, the bouquet of flowers. Aren't they pretty? Now treat yourself. I got two things of orange juice because we go through it so fast, and this is my favorite orange juice ever. It's the unpasteurized orange juice. Trader Joe's has seriously like a thousand different orange juices and I'm not kidding, I've tried every single one. This one is the best. It tastes so fresh, just like freshly juiced oranges. I also got some pineapple juice. I've been loving adrenal cocktails with pineapple juice lately. They're so good. I already have shrimp in my freezer and I already have a big chuck roast. All of our beef we get from butcher box. It's all grass fed and grass finished. So I pretty much always have some kind of frozen meat in the freezer. So I'm gonna do the chuck roast in my crock pot to make shredded beef tacos. And then last up, bone broth. So I usually get this beef bone broth, but I've never gotten this chicken bone broth. So I usually get another kind at Trader Joe's, but this one is much cheaper. So I'm gonna use this to cook any rice that I make or anything like that. I usually just use it to cook with, like cooking rice, or I'll use the beef one to put in my crock pot with the chuck roast for the beef tacos. But that is it. We got a lot of things, and this was all basically 100 bucks. 
this will last me a full week and by the end of the week sometimes I have to get a little creative or like run to the store the number one thing I'd run out of is either orange juice but so that's why I got a pineapple juice too to kind of more juice you know or I'll run out of milk uh, because I use this for uh, like creamer in my coffee. I put it in my coffee and Jacob's coffee. I use it for adrenal cocktails and sometimes like a nighttime uh, bedtime snack like my milky beverage. But I've gotten the gallon size before and I didn't finish it in that full week. And so that's why I got this size um, to see how long it'll last me and if it'll be um, too much or too little. I, I can already tell I'm probably gonna have to go back to the store and just get another thing of it later this week maybe but who knows we'll see so that's what I'm doing this week thanks for watching hit the like button and comment what your favorite thing is in this haul and what you like to get during hauls or how you do grocery shopping on a budget any tips and tricks are more than welcome and don't forget to subscribe I post a video every week and I'll see you next time bye